Sports fans, what's going on? Patrick over here at Ghost Picks ATS coming at you with a free play of the day. It is August, which means the NFL is back. Football is back. The NFL Hall of Fame game is this Thursday, August 4th, between the Raiders and the Jaguars, and I have some insight for you. Uh, first things first, anyone who says they've got a lock or anything for the Hall of Fame game, they might be a little bit outside their mind. Now, the unders do head at a pretty good rate, but there's no such thing as a lock here, so we're going to be playing this a little bit light. With the first bit of football, I understand that everybody wants to come back, immediately throw some money on something, and this is the pick to do so. If you weren't with me last year or the year before or the year before that, three years ago with the Circa Million, placed top 10 out in Vegas, one of the most prestigious tournaments uh, between handicappers in the business. And then two years ago, over 75% on Instagram with that line reeks. And then last year, over 80 units up throughout the course of the regular season, the NFL killed the playoffs as well. So know what we're doing over here, very sharp. Uh, do this year round and with football we will ideally have free plays just about every single day at least DFS or some free insight going on uh, so the NFL preseason you really don't know what's going on especially with the Hall of Fame game it's the first game of the year it's a week before every other game and with two new coaches for these teams you really don't know what's going to be going on with that being said the highest correlation with NFL preseason success is quarterback play we're not going to be seeing Trevor Lawrence. We're not going to be seeing Derek Carr. It's, it's going to be the backups. Uh, C.J. Bathard is the number one backup for the Jaguars. He's injured. Don't think we're going to see him. It's probably going to be a mix of two guys that can really actually play quarterback, Jake Lutton and my guy, Kyle Slaughter. So Kyle Slaughter out of North Dakota, South Dakota, one of them Dakotas, he can absolutely ball. In the preseason, he's got like a 7-1 and one record in games he's played in. Uh, really absolutely phenomenal numbers. Uh, just absurd. Uh, he can sling it. Great backup. He actually played in the USFL. So he is fresh, which is kind of one of the main reasons I like the Jaguars here today. They've got Lutton and they've got Slaughter. Both these two quarterbacks, can, and they're pretty solid. You know, Lutton took some NFL snaps two years ago. He started a couple games. Obviously, against that kind of competition, he's not phenomenal. But we're going to be playing against twos and threes out here and fours. I like these two quarterbacks to get after it. On the Raiders side, they've got two new quarterbacks into their system. They've got Jared Stidham, who is a dink and dunk kind of quarterback. He'll, you know, won't really turn it over, but he's not going to be pushing anything down the field. And then they have Nick Mullins, a guy who I kind of like, but at the same time, he's been a product of his environment. Uh, being in San Francisco, he's got one of the easiest jobs at quarterback. Play action pass, he does his thing. I think it's going to be a little different in Oakland, Las Vegas, not Oakland. Still got to get used to that. Uh, but we're going to be rolling with the Jaguars, plus the two and a half in this one, plus two, whatever you got. I do, I mean, maybe a little sprinkle on the money line, but I don't think it's really worth it at plus 105. I like the spread just in case, you know, some crazy things happen. It is the NFL preseason. You really never know. Uh, but these two quarterbacks, if you look at Kyle Slaughter in particular, I do believe he will be getting a pretty good amount of snaps in this game. Him and Jake Lutton, both of them solid quarterbacks. Slaughter's numbers the last time out, he was 4-0 in the preseason, 3-1 and the year before that. They were with two different teams, which is important because now he's on a third team. Uh, you know, why does he keep bouncing around? He can't keep a job. Who You know, it's tough. Only three quarterbacks pretty much per team in the NFL. He just is not quite there. But as far as talent goes, he has got it, uh, especially in the preseason. So his preseason numbers are 31 for 43 413 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. That was his first year's numbers. Now, next year, he does even better. Pretty much the same exact thing. Five touchdowns, one interception in the NFL preseason. I will be riding with the Jaguars and Kyle Slaughter. Jaguars are a young team. They've got a lot to prove to their new coach, Doug Peterson. And uh, that is how we start off our NFL season with the Jaguars plus the points. And uh, we look to keep it rolling. Premium content will always be available over at ghostpicksats.com. Uh, if you're looking to get into anything else, you can go on Instagram, IG, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. There's going to be access pretty much everywhere all season long. Uh, but without a doubt, NFL, there's premium content, and the premium content is more than worth it. Um, it pays off year in, year out. And, you know, 
I'm as good. I'm as personable as any, you know, handicapper. If you ever email me or anything, I'm always there to respond. Uh, if you ever need any insight for DFS, fantasy football, or anything, anyone on a premium package gets full disclosure, gets full everything. Anything that you want, you can pick, pry, ask, and uh, I'll be there to respond. That's what I do. It's what I love. NFL is uh, it's going to be a great year, as always. College football is coming around the corner as well. Whew. I'm excited. Good luck. God bless. Grind on. We will catch you back here tomorrow or with the Hall of Fame game. There's going to be a couple days to watch this one. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Tune in for more NFL. Comment. Subscribe. Definitely subscribe. There's going to be a lot of NFL content this year. So I'm out of here. Peace and blessings. Let's have a great NFL season. Peace.